This season at the Moody is really about open-ended experimentation. By focusing on the demon in the diagram, which is an immersive installation by Matthew Ritchie, we are able to intersect with a wide variety of disciplines. So one of the themes of the project is how do we turn knowledge inside out so that we can create a broader vision of the future. So I was sort of proposing this idea of like, let's take this notion of the classroom, the university, where you learn everything and kind of take it literally, create a universal space of knowledge where all fields of knowledge connect to each other. The show has two kinds of invitations to students and the public. One is very external, push the screens around, make music happen. And the other is more internal, which is you're asked to don a robe and wear a mask and become, in a way, a kind of performer for the next people coming into the gallery. This semester at Rice, Silk Road began a three-year residency. One of the things that Silk Road does is bring this very diverse, very international set of performers together and find a way to work together, which feels really relevant for our time. As the artist in residence, Matthew's really able to extend the project beyond the initial installation to really, it's almost like a live workshop where things throughout the months it's on view are really evolving and changing and creating new collaborative partnerships. We invited Hope Moore, who's a choreographer based in San Francisco, to come and be in residence for a week and create a new dance piece in the galleries in response to Matthew's work. Matthew and I have been in the galleries basically all day, every day with the dancers, sourcing off the walls and the floor and the screens and doing a lot of research through improvisation. I really was excited to show up and create something in real time through dialogue and that's really happened. So it's been very rewarding. It's a very quick turnaround to go from zero to a complete performance in like four days. But I don't feel rushed and I don't feel pressured. I feel like I'm being given like a lot of space and time to try things out and that's very rare. We are equally as interested in process as presentation and sometimes the real creative energy is in that process piece. So we value it as much as we value the final product. So part of our goal here is to make that process available to visitors and students so that everyone can see that and benefit from it or be inspired by it. The growth in fields really happens at the edges and at the intersections. That's fun to be a part of that. The story of knowledge is not one that ends with a final conclusion. In fact, it should always point to more experiments. And that was very much part of the DNA of the Moody, I felt, was this idea of like something that was there to be kind of used and explored. Ideally, if the Moody is functioning on all cylinders, you could find an exhibition, a public program, a performance, and view some making going on all at the same time. <laughs>